The future of the Philippine Navy's amphibious capabilities is being reshaped with the acquisition of two new landing platform docks under a contract with Indonesian shipbuilder PT PAL. With a project value of $5.56 billion, this modernization initiative marks a critical leap forward in enhancing the country's naval capacity, improving upon the capabilities of the existing Tarlac-class vessels. These ships are pivotal to the Navy's sea lift, disaster response, and amphibious operations, positioning the Philippines as a rising maritime power in Southeast Asia. The new 124-meter LPDs, scheduled for delivery in 2025 and 2026, represent an evolution of PTP Hal's strategic sea lift vessel design. The ships are designed with lessons learned from operating the Tarlac class, incorporating technical and operational enhancements. They will feature advanced weaponry provisions, including mounts for a 76mm Oto Malara Super Rapid main gun, two 30mm Esselsen Smash secondary guns, and optional close-in weapon systems, such as the Rheinmetall Orlikon Millennium Gun or Asselsan Gokdinis. This arsenal ensures robust defensive and offensive capabilities, vital for operations in contested waters such as the South China Sea. The LPD's aviation facilities have also been refined, with an expanded flight deck accommodating two 10-ton helicopters and a hangar for one additional medium-sized helicopter. This configuration enhances airlift and reconnaissance capabilities, essential for both military and humanitarian missions. To further boost operational efficiency, EID's Integrated Communications Control System, ICCS, will be installed, ensuring seamless coordination during complex missions. Regionally, the Philippines' op new LPDs will rival similar vessels operated by neighboring countries. Indonesia's Makassar class, also built by PT PAL, has been a proven platform in the region, but the Philippine variant's upgrades may offer superior versatility. Meanwhile, Singapore's Endurance class and Malaysia's KD Mahawangsa serve as benchmarks for regional amphibious capabilities. While the Philippine Navy's new vessels may lack the cutting-edge technology of Singapore's fleet, their affordability and tailored design for local needs underscore a pragmatic approach to modernization. This project aligns with the Armed Forces of the Philippines' Horizon 2 Modernization Program, aimed at strengthening national defense amid escalating maritime challenges. As tensions in the South China Sea persist, these LPDs will serve as strategic assets, supporting sovereignty protection, international peacekeeping, and disaster response the Philippine Navy is poised to become a more capable force with the new LPDs symbolizing a commitment to regional security and a more prominent maritime role. With construction milestones such as steel cutting and keel laying achieved, the project's progress is on track. PT PAL's proven expertise and ongoing collaboration with the Philippine Navy provide confidence in the timely delivery and operational success of these vessels. Once commissioned, these LPDs will mark a new era for the Philippine Navy, offering enhanced capabilities to address both traditional and non-traditional maritime security challenges. The evolution of these LPDs also reflects a broader shift in naval warfare and strategic operations within the Southeast Asian region. With the rise of complex hybrid threats and increasing natural disasters, naval forces are expected to perform a wide array of roles. The Philippines' new LPDs are designed with versatility in mind, enabling them to serve not only as platforms for amphibious operations, but also as command centers for humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. This dual functionality ensures that the vessels remain relevant in both peacetime and wartime scenarios. The focus on disaster response is particularly crucial for the Philippines, a country frequently struck by typhoons, earthquakes, and other natural calamities. The new LPD's ability to deploy large volumes of personnel, vehicles, and relief supplies rapidly makes them invaluable during crises. Their spacious well decks can house landing craft and amphibious vehicles, 
while their aviation facilities provide critical airlift support. These capabilities were prioritized following the operational experiences of the Tarlac class, which played significant roles in disaster response missions, including during the COVID-19 pandemic. From a strategic perspective, the acquisition of these LPDs underscores the Philippines' commitment to safeguarding its maritime territories. The South China Sea, a critical area for regional trade and geopolitical stability, remains a hotspot for territorial disputes. With the introduction of these modern LPDs, the Philippine Navy is better equipped to conduct patrols, enforce maritime laws, and respond to potential security threats. The vessel's ability to operate in contested environments, combined with their enhanced defensive systems, provides a credible deterrent against potential aggressors. Furthermore, the acquisition highlights the growing importance of regional partnerships in strengthening maritime security. The collaboration between the Philippines and Indonesia through PT-PAL exemplifies how ASEAN countries can leverage each other's strengths to address shared challenges. PT-PAL's track record of delivering reliable naval platforms to various countries in the region reinforces the value of such partnerships. Beyond shipbuilding, these collaborations pave the way for joint exercises, knowledge sharing, and coordinated responses to regional crises. In comparison to other regional players, the Philippines' approach to naval modernization balances cost-effectiveness with operational capability. Singapore's Endurance-class LPDs, for example, are renowned for their technological sophistication, featuring advanced automation and integrated systems. However, their high costs place them beyond the reach of many developing nations. Malaysia's KD Mahawangsa, while capable, lacks some of the modern features integrated into the Philippine Navy's new LPDs. By focusing on practical enhancements and modular upgrades, the Philippines ensures that its naval assets remain functional and adaptable without imposing excessive financial burdens. The Philippine Navy's decision to prioritize multipurpose platforms like the new LPDs also reflects a recognition of the evolving nature of naval missions. Modern naval operations increasingly require flexibility, with ships expected to perform diverse roles ranging from combat to humanitarian assistance. The new LPD's design accommodates this shift, featuring modular systems that allow for future upgrades and mission-specific configurations. This adaptability ensures that the vessels remain operationally relevant over their service lives. Training and crew readiness are integral to maximizing the potential of these new assets. The Philippine Navy has already initiated programs to train personnel in operating and maintaining the advanced systems on board the new LPDs. Partnerships with allied navies, such as those of the United States and Japan, further enhance the Navy's capability development. Joint exercises and technical exchanges provide valuable opportunities to refine operational strategies and familiarize crews with modern naval doctrines. The introduction of these LPDs also raises important questions about the future trajectory of the Philippine Navy's modernization efforts. As the Horizon 2 phase concludes, attention is shifting to the Horizon 3 phase, which aims to achieve a more balanced and credible defense posture by 2028. The successful integration of the new LPDs into the fleet will set a precedent for future acquisitions, emphasizing the importance of learning from past experiences and aligning procurement with strategic objectives. Looking ahead, the Philippine Navy's focus on enhancing its amphibious capabilities aligns with broader trends in regional defense. Countries across Southeast Asia are investing in similar platforms to address shared challenges, including maritime security, disaster response, and climate change impacts. The Philippines' new LPDs position the Navy as a key player in these efforts, enabling it to contribute more effectively to regional stability and cooperative security initiatives. In conclusion, the acquisition of two new landing platform docks marks a significant milestone in the Philippine Navy's modernization journey.
These vessels not only enhance the Navy's operational capabilities, but also reflect a forward-looking approach to addressing the complex security and humanitarian challenges of the 21st century. By leveraging regional partnerships, prioritizing adaptability, and focusing on cost-effective solutions, the Philippines is charting a path toward a more resilient and capable naval force. As these LPDs join the fleet in the coming years, they will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in shaping the future of maritime security in Southeast Asia.